Good morning guys, we are currently in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. My apologies for all the construction going on. You might hear that throughout this video. They're building a condo building next to the condo building we're currently staying in. I'm here on a holiday with my family. So if you didn't catch my previous travel diary videos, I went from Santo Domingo, Sayona Island, and Catalina Island here surrounding the Dominican Republic. It's been a beautiful vacation so far. We have about two weeks here and our holiday is coming to an end very shortly so I have two full days so I'm going to be sharing my day with you guys today because I feel like I know my way around here quite well so I can give a better travel diary to you. This morning we're going to the market to go get some mangoes for breakfast. Everything here is so fresh. It's been so long since I've had fresh mangoes and they are so delicious. Did you guys see the size of that avocado? I mean, incredible, right? I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna cut these up like I do my mangoes. If you guys don't know how to cut mangoes, I will show you. And we're gonna have a delicious breakfast out on the balcony. love her book recommendations so I went ahead and gave it a download it's quite long oh gracias I ordered some snacks I'll show you guys when they arrive okay so it's called letting go the pathway of surrender by David R Hawkins and it's absolutely incredible I truly feel like this book is everything and more that I learned at ayahuasca so it's been amazing to be listening to it here um, but yeah, thought I'd share that with you. I ordered yuca chips. I believe that's how you pronounce them. So when they arrive, I'll show you them. Just a quick snack. I've just been eating fruit all day. Check out this service, you guys. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's super windy, and that's another reason why I don't know if I can bring out Emerino, the drone, because it it is quite windy where we are, which is perfect tanning weather, to be honest, when you're lying by the sea, and it's super hot, but there's a breeze, you feel okay, you know? So, I'll see if I can later, but if not, I hope that you guys are enjoying the Caribbean sights, the ones that I can capture anyways. all sandy. I actually came up to get ready a little bit early because it's our last night and I want to make sure I get some really nice photos in my new travel dress by Kosan Travel and it is the called the Go Travel Dress. I'll be linking it down below but it is absolutely amazing. It is just such a wonderful fabric for traveling. I think it's like the biggest Thing when you're a girl you want to go on you want to go traveling you want to take beautiful pictures but you're also sweating in a lot of locations or if you're going for a little bit of a, a day trip a hike these things you want to look nice but in the back of your mind you're like i should probably just put on my yoga my lululemon clothes just so that if i sweat it's okay but cosan travel is all about traveling in style 
and comfort and they also have hidden pockets in the dress to hide like your money or your lipstick anything like that so i'm super excited to shoot the dress i actually met the guys in vancouver when i was just there prior to meeting my parents at the airport to go on this trip but yeah i'm excited to show it off for you guys so i'm going to shower up and yeah get this hair all desanded desalted so i'll see you guys very soon <laughs> to get ready for dinner and then we're all gonna head out and have our last meal in Punta Cana together. Oh, I feel like I should be talking to you guys along this mural. It's so beautiful. There we go. <laughs> Much more colorful. So yeah, it's been a wonderful two weeks here and I'd say if you're looking for more adventures or things to do when you do come to stay in Punta Cana, I have Santo Domingo, I have the Catalina Island and Sayona Island, so I recommend those little travel vlogs, but for the most part this has been a very relaxing holiday, so I hope you've enjoyed relaxing with me. red moon in Venice and that was pretty special but this is pretty incredible too wow it's so bright and it looks so pretty along the water anyways gotta get back to my veggie tacos which are phenomenal by the way good morning guys I hope you're having an amazing day so I've just finished packing up all my things because this is unfortunately our last day in paradise and I want to apologize. Normally I like to talk to you guys with my sunglasses off and even though it's morning and even though I'm under this placebo thing, it's still quite bright for my eyes so I'm sorry. But yeah, so I just finished packing up. Luckily everything fit back into my suitcase. That's always a, a struggle sometimes. <laughs> but I decided that since this travel video has been so relaxed I'd say um, no real excursions because I was lying on the beach I decided that I would give you guys some of my tips for staying healthy while you travel so I'm currently on this two month stint away from Rome but I do tend to travel quite a bit as you guys know so I I've developed this new way of thinking that when I go on vacation when I go on holiday I don't go on holiday from my beliefs and my respect for my body in the sense that just because I'm on vacation doesn't mean I'm going to eat and drink as much as I can. I, in the past, of course, as I mentioned, when I've gone on all-inclusive vacations, this is what tends to happen, is you tend to like eat so much at breakfast, then you have this whole smorgasbord for lunch and dinner as well, and then you're kind of lying on the beach and you're like, what next? I'm going to have a drink. But um, this holiday, especially being a beach vacation and not being at an all-inclusive has been extra relaxing just because I haven't been overeating. I've been eating fresh fruit every day. I've just really been taking care of myself as I normally would when I'm at home. And I think that that's so important. And even though I don't have the gym nearby, I've still been being active every day, swimming, going for long beach walks. So that's what I encourage you guys to do is wherever you are going on a holiday, I mean, of course, treat yourself and no sense am I saying restrict yourself but what I'm saying is just keep a balance make sure that you're tuning in with your body and how does your body feel like eating when it's on vacation because if you're like me I always want lots of energy when I'm on vacation so lots of energy for me is given to me by eating healthy foods and staying active I also make sure to bring along uh, vitamins with me to make sure that if I am switching up my diet I'm still getting what I need to have a good day so one vitamin that's kind of a must take for me is or a supplement is an iron supplement that I get over the counter in Canada and this is because I just have low iron levels 
and always have. <laughs> and recently, I've started taking two supplements by Eves and Adam, the reishi mushroom supplement and also an apple cider vinegar supplement. So the reishi supplement, the reishi mushrooms, as you know, I feel like mushrooms have been kind of a trend in the health world, these mushroom coffees and all that. I haven't tried those yet. But the reishi mushroom supplement that I've been taking is a blend of mushrooms that provides a lot of organic compounds. It's for inflammation, anxiety, the brain, the immune system, liver, kidney, and more. So I'll be sure to leave the links to each of these down below so you guys can check them out more for yourself. And for the apple cider vinegar, it's more of like a cleansing for your system. So as you guys know, apple cider vinegar is quite acidic and maybe not the most pleasant thing to ingest. In the past I've taken it, like mixed it with warm water, and I just remember it being such a difficult thing for me to consume, but then I found Ethan Adam has a supplement that you can just ingest by swallowing it. So of course I am down for this rather than drinking vinegar, even though I love balsamic vinegar so much, it's much different than apple cider vinegar. Anyways you guys, the sun is out so I'm going to soak up these last few rays. I hope that you have enjoyed this vacation with me and my family in Punta Cana. Be sure to check out the excursion videos if you haven't because we had some wonderful times in the world's most beautiful paradises. So, sending you so much love and sunshine. See you again very soon.